What's up everybody? Welcome to Keepnology. I'm your boy Truth and today we're going to be talking about the Jason Tatum snap. The kind of snap the sneaker world on fire. I know I'm a little bit late for this video, but I mean I've been working and doing other things. But I just want to chop it up with you guys, give you guys my thought about this shoe. Uh, I'm not sure if there's any other pictures that have surfaced, but basically what I'm going to do is put the snap up on the screen and we're going to go through it. Talk about the pros and cons, some of the some of the things I think that they should keep on the shoe, changing the shoe, and even with the box. So let's get right up into it. So looking at this snap here, Justin Tatum posted this. And he said, once you I never had growing up that I always wanted. So as you can see, exactly what it is. It is the cool gray 11s that everybody has been talking about dropping this year. And this is, now let me say this. This is not saying that this shoe is going to drop by any means. This could be just one of those PEs for him. Maybe next year to drop 2021. But as of right now, this is one of those things that, that's kind of got everybody anticipating and guessing and hoping and praying that this sneaker drop. I do not have this shoe in my collection, so it definitely will be one that I want. But just looking at the actual picture of this shoe, let's go ahead and get some thoughts about it. So the first thing off the bat that jumps out for me for this sneaker is, is that we do have the mesh upper. The Cool Gray 11 Lows dropped about two years ago, I want to say it, it, it was, and I know a lot of people were kind of disappointed because we thought we was going to get these here, but they ended up dropping and they had the leather up on the top. These actually have the mesh, so that is a plus for any sneaker person. I'm not, I don't know many people that actually like the leather up top. If you do, rock what you like, not what's hype, but for me, I like that mesh material. The leather just kind of looks only on the 72 and 10s. The 72 and 10s with the leather, that was extremely tumble. I like that because of the concept of the sneaker. But besides that, I, I, I want to stick to the mesh and this is true to form as far as the retros. Now, these shoes retroed in 2000 and I want to say 2001 and then in 2010, if I'm not mistaken, you guys correct me on that, but I'm pretty sure the last time we see the Cool, cool Gray 11 drop would have been 10 years ago. Um, so, Moving along the shoe, this shoe does have the high patent leather. It is not the low patent leather that people got accustomed to um, as, of, as of four or five years ago. Now, me, myself, personally, I love the high patent leather. I think, it's, I think it looks dope. I think the, the low patent leather kind of makes it, looks like a, it look like a fake to me, kind of like you bought it off of like DHL or something like that. But for me, I like the high patent leather. It's the traditional OG form. It gives that shoe that nice look. A lot of people don't like that. They like the low cut. But these here that we see on this screen are actually high pan leather, so I like it. Um, you got your white shoelaces. You got your, your blue icy blue bottom. You got your gray and your white midsole. Now, the questions that I have about this shoe. Let's start with the actual box. We see the 23 paper. We see the black box. I am curious to see what box we get. For me, I don't care about boxes often. But for me, when it comes to the Jordan 11s, I feel like we need that box that we always get, which is this box, the pullout box. It is the classic 23 box. You just get, it feels like you're getting premium material. You have the, the 11 in the Roman numerals letter there. You know what I'm saying? You have the paper. You, you have to go five or six different levels just to get the shoe out of the box. In the shoe trees are normally that metallic plastic dope concept i feel like that if they give us the cool gray 11s this is the box it needs to be in now judging off of this snap it looks like what they're gonna give us is this and i, I mean I, I don't i don't think they should do that because if you notice that it has the 23 paper this is the 23 paper. So I don't see them giving us that premium box if it has a 23 based on this based on this snap that Jason Tatum did. It looks like we're gonna get this box. Now, they have switched it up, switched it up a couple of uh, times over the past years. For the cop cords, we got this box. It's a little dusty. Look at this. Yeah, I mean I, I haven't I haven't rocked them. Um they gave us this box, which was cool, you know what I'm saying? Easier to get to. And then for the breads. They kind of went a little bit of um, that OG Nike feel, kind of like a Jordan 12 feel, and they gave us this box. And I know the box doesn't matter, but for some reason on the 11s, the box matters for a lot of people. So if I had my option of choice, it would be that one. You guys let me know what you think about that box situation. Now, 
Talking about the shoe again. One of the biggest question marks for me is it going to have 23 or 45 on the back? Now, we seen the 45 introduced a few years ago. 45. Many people like this 45. But for me, I don't like the 45. I do not like the 45 on the back of the shoes. I get the whole concept. I get the meaning behind it. This is not one of the things that I like. I don't like this on the shoe. So, if they're going to bring out the cool gray 11s, then I need them to go back and give me the 23. I need the 23 on the back of the sneaker. I feel like this is true to form. I feel like this is what they need to do. Cool gray 11s need to have the 23 on the butt. The last thing for us to discuss is going to be the price point and when the shoe will release. So we have these that are supposed to drop the Air, Air Jordan 11 clear for the holiday. We just, these pictures surface and I'm going to be doing a video about these as well. My thoughts on these. And now we're getting this snap from Jason Tatum that's kind of contradicting everything and kind of throwing us into like, hey, which one is going to be the holiday sneaker? So I don't know when this shoe is going to drop. I know a lot of people think it's going to be the holidays. Uh, it's going to be the holiday release, but I think it might be 2021 when we see this shoe because and it will be the holiday sneaker for next year. But I don't know. We'll see what happens. But the price point, I got to I would say it would have to be right around the two hundred and twenty dollar mark, like a premium shoe, not the hundred and ninety dollar mark. You guys let me know below in the comments. I appreciate you guys tuning in. I am super excited if they drop this shoe. This is definitely going to be a must have for me, whether it's got 45, 23, 24, 21, 22, 20. It doesn't matter what's on the back. It can have double zero and I would want this sneaker. But you guys let me know in the comment section your thoughts and opinions about this shoe. I appreciate you guys rocking me as always. Rock what you like, not what's hype. Wash them hands, man. And remember, everything you see behind me is just bait. A way for me to share my faith. I'm gone. Jim Hard, I should cut you compare Jordan.